Hi there, my name's Simmy Joe, coming at you from my basement, making videos about computers on the internet. Now I'm surrounded by computers, got some benchmarks running here. That's because we're about to prove this little baby is a beast. So beastly, it can compete with the likes of the Ryzen 5 1600. I've got the 1600 running here, I've got this uh, Xeon, well, at least one like it, running here. And you see these benchmarks are finishing up. What do you think is going to happen? 5273. Take that out. Right? Well, and what's this? 5261. What are these? Identical computers? Well, they're running identical graphics cards. Uh, the HD 7970. Both clocked exactly the same. But this one's from this year. And this one is seven years old. Now, you're thinking, oh, seven years old. Well, you've got to be giving up a lot to do that. Well, I'm here to, no, I'm going to tell you, you don't have to give up much to have a wicked fast gaming PC that's from seven years ago that matches a Ryzen from today, an overclocked Ryzen to boot, and it's about half the price. Cue the intro! We're going to talk all about it. Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! All right. So, today we're talking about the uh, Xeon 5650. This was a thousand dollar CPU. The equivalent of the Core i9 Extreme Edition from about 2010. Okay, and uh, these uh, were very high-end CPUs at the time. Six cores, 12 threads, exactly like the Ryzen 5 1600, okay. And uh, it clocks much higher than that, actually. Now, the Xeon wasn't supposed to clock that high. Uh, I got it at 4.4 gigahertz right now, and it's not even breaking a sweat. With the appropriate motherboard, this being an X58 chipset, you can just, just destroy benchmarks with this thing. And it keeps up with the big boys. We see this in a video game right now. Well, you might say, okay, video game, you know, it's an old graphics card. Uh, what about CPU? Well, let's bring up Cinebench here. There it is. 1315 on the Ryzen 1600. Six cores, 12 threads. We got a... 1009 so it's close okay this uh, six core from Intel's performing more like a four core i7 from around now but that's still pretty damn good so the benchmarks are as follows this is a Xeon 5650 running at 4.4 gigahertz it could go higher but I I didn't feel like just you know instability and whatnot it's got uh, 12 gigs of DDR3 running in tri-channel the 7970 uh, like I said and uh, I got a water cooled on my test bench here and the best part about it was I only spent two hundred and fifty four dollars American for this little setup now uh, you can get all this stuff on eBay $29 for the CPU, okay? A 6-core, 12-threaded beast that overclocks to 4.4 gigahertz. But the caveat would be the motherboards are fairly hard to find. They're actually coming down in price as better hardware has been coming out lately. They used to be very, very expensive. They're still expensive for, for an older motherboard. We see them here on eBay you know, between $150 to $200. I actually picked mine up for $150 American. It's the Asus uh, Rampage 3 Gene Edition. It's a micro ATX board. And you know what? Not many things I'm giving up to have this system. It has USB 3.0 two ports in the back it has uh, high bandwidth 60 gigabit a second SATA so my uh, uh, solid-state drive is gonna run real real fast on it it's got SLI support it's got uh, you know two 16 times PCIe slots so you can do crossfire or whatever it's got loads of RAM, uh, RAM slots now you're gonna be dealing with DDR3 but DDR3 is typically a little bit cheaper. We see here 12 gigs of it's only 90 bucks on eBay. So if you don't mind dealing with this older hardware, the possibility that it's, you know, might fail. It's a little bit seven years old. 
who knows, whatever, you can drum yourself up a fairly inexpensive option. Now, the equivalent Ryzen system, the CPU alone is most of the budget, once you count for shipping and taxes. The CPU alone is $200. You add up a motherboard that's equivalent, uh, some RAM that's equivalent, you're looking at, what, $487? and uh, you know 57 cents so for half the price you can get equivalent performance on this older platform it's pretty awesome now of course Ryzen you know the motherboard is going to be good for a few years and some future iterations of the uh, Ryzen platform of course so you got that it supports way faster memory but Considering there's 30, uh, sorry, a 3200 speed memory, 16 gigs of it running in this Ryzen system, the CPU performance is fairly similar. It's it's pretty awesome. So uh, let's run through some more benchmarks here. I got too many mice. Oh, there we go. Uh, 3D Mark Firestrike, just extremely similar performance across the board. We've got the uh, you know it's 18,000 versus 15,000. You know, uh, yeah, but. Uh, look at the graphic score is dead on okay a little bit higher on the one uh, and then the total score for the you know it's there yeah so the physics score is a lot lower but it's it's really close the final score 7822 to 7730 like these systems are dead on par and one is seven years old and half the price it's, it's pretty cool uh, I did run through a bunch of games too that will be oh my god where's my mouse there we go. Got three of them here. Three keyboards, three mice. Why the hell not? We have game benchmarks. I ran uh, three games. Okay, the the dedicated benchmarks in these games. But we'll talk about actually using the computer for gaming in just one second. So uh, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. They're within a frame of each other. Okay. Ghost Recon: Wildlands within a frame of each other. Two Rise of the Tomb Raider within a frame. It's ridiculous how similar the performance is so 3.9 gigahertz 4.4 gigahertz extremely faster ram actually got four more gigs of it 16 gigs of 3200 speed this is running at 1612 gigs but very similar performance now uh that all doesn't mean anything if uh, much like my crossfire video yes you know from uh, a couple of days ago uh you know it seems like the performance is good because the numbers are high but the gameplay experience is shit well I put this, you know, system together and I played a couple hours of PUBG yesterday on this system running, uh, you know, with this graphics card, I'm not going to get away with much better than low, but I found that the performance of the CPU was very, very good and the gameplay was smooth. I didn't have very much micro stuttering. Uh, as we see from the uh, CPU usage, it was negligible. The graphics card was, was what was being stressed. And then I played PUBG right after that on this system and I felt like I was playing it on the exact same computer. That's how similar the performance of this is. So, a uh, pretty awesome deal to get this Xeon if you can hook up the right situation you of course need an overclockable motherboard Wh how I got into this was uh, I bought a Dell uh, Precision T3500 uh, it's like a workstation and had one of these Xeons in it. it's actually this one here it's a four core version of this but uh, it was like a Core i7 the first generation with hyper threading and it was always just such a snappy computer but thought, let's see if I can upgrade that computer as you'll see here and then I put the six core in it and didn't see much of a performance gain. You know, of course, I'm adding two cores and two threads, but uh, it didn't feel that much faster because the you know like you can't overclock on those old Dells. So I thought I'd better go on eBay and check out the deals on the motherboard that can overclock this CPU. And I had one real close to me in Canada pop up on eBay. I put some bids on it. I won it, and boy, howdy, am I ever happy! It is such. An awesome system. So, uh, in the end, I gotta say, if you like overclocking, messing around with computers, and getting the most out of hardware, this is an amazing option for a gaming computer for you because you get to go into a little bit older of a BIOS, but mess around with settings, see how far you can get it. The original clock speed on this is like two. 
4.6 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz turbo boost and i'm running it all the time at 4.4 right now the power consumption is going to be a little you know high on this motherboard compared to the ryzen but once you overclock the ryzen you're in sort of a similar boat the 65 watt tvp on this goes right out the window as soon as all cores are running 3.9 gigahertz it's going to be the same for this it was probably an efficient cpu to begin with but now that it's running at 4.4 now totally super stable ram prime 95 on this had no issues at 4.4 gigahertz it'll go higher if i really wanted to mess with it uh but that's where i found the sweet spot was and the equivalent uh core i7 extreme edition from the time was getting about that same 4.2 to 4.4 gigahertz uh overclock so yeah another couple cool things is you can get some really cheap ecc memory that will work with it uh online a lot of servers you know have this old ecc memory and it might be a little bit slower but it definitely works with the xeon cpus does not work with the uh the core series from that year and uh, that way you can put some really inexpensive memory in it too and make it even cheaper for you but in the end i'm super happy this is awesome it's like a core uh you know i7 uh six core that you know it's just i've been having loads of fun playing with it super fun time so i'm at watch Timmy joe instagram twitter if you have any questions about the xeon leave them in the comments below uh if you want to see me do any other videos or testing with it for, for sure but uh seven year old intel system just beating the pants off of core uh or sorry uh, Ryzen 5 if you account you know the price to performance ratio here because we're half the price on this about 500 dollars for the Ryzen system 250 uh was shipped to my door for this awesome you know rig without much future proofing involved i have one last thing to talk about we got to switch some monitor sources here uh i just hit wait for it wait for it Twenty thousand subscribers you guys are awesome you guys are so awesome uh come in here watching me overclock you know things in freezers or out in the 40 below whatever uh you know doing shunt resistor mods and delitting cpus and getting the most out of computer hardware i absolutely just love playing with computers and the fact that i'm making a little bit of money to like reinvest into buying all this crazy hardware and you know making videos for you guys it's just it's an awesome time to be a computer enthusiast there's so much to talk about and do there should be some new graphics cards coming out in the new year and I just hit 20,000 of you have clicked that subscribe button. It doesn't mean much in today's era of YouTube. Like uh, subscriptions have kind of, you know, gone by the wayside. Most of your views are, you know, put up because so much content is put up on YouTube uh, by making really awesome videos. But I just had uh, a GTX 280 gra uh, graphics card review get like 80,000 views in a couple of weeks time so i'm just going to keep pumping out this stuff and hopefully something sticks to the wall and uh you know the more attention that's drawn to the channel uh you know and, uh, and the, the fun we have the more money i can reinvest into the channel and you know maybe someday i'll be one of those paid for tick tubers but in the meantime i'm just i'm having a load of fun here guys so thanks very much for all the support thanks very much for watching my stupid videos where i drink a whole bottle of cough syrup that was fake, by the way. I definitely didn't drink a whole bottle of cough syrup. But you got to make your gimmicks, right? You got to do your thing. So I'll see you guys in another video. If you have any questions about the Xeon system, let me know. But uh, yeah, in the end, seriously, uh, if you're looking for a new PC, don't discount an old Xeon uh, 5650 or 5670 and an X58 motherboard. Price them out. If you can get a really good one on eBay or locally, uh, you might be looking for a diamond in the rough and paying half the money of a Ryzen system. Something that actually will probably be still pretty good for a few years to come. See you guys in another video.